Okay, so for this next video, we're going to um, just talk about how to add a background layer to your map, and then also how to open up a new print page so that you can um, basically publish your map as a PDF or a picture file like a JPEG. Um, so first of all, we're going to add in the base map or the, the base layer. And that um, for that, there's a nice plugin in in the Fetch Python plugins called um, it's, basically, it's called um, Open Street or Open Layers. And so if you look at that, if you search for Open Street Layers or Open Layers plugin, um, this one right here, you can install that. And then it basically gives you access to a lot of different base layers like Google Maps or Bing Maps or OpenStreetMap. Um, so I already have that installed. So I'm going to open up this um, base layer. Sometimes it takes a minute to load, but this one was really quick. And so now it basically displays this nice base layer with the roads and the satellite layer right underneath of your points and polygons. It kind of gives you a nice way to demonstrate um, your information. And so then if you want to um, basically create a finalized map for this information, you go in here to File and a New Print Composer. And from here then you have to pull in your map. So um, you use this Add New Map button, and then you click in the white space and just select um, the area that you want to uh, to load in the map, and then the map gets pulled in uh, right into this new um, this new composer. And then you can move the map information around a little bit to recenter it to where you where you like it. In order to make this map a little bit more um, finalized, you need to put in things like a title, um, uh, a scale, a legend, and a north arrow. So uh, to do that, we'll start with adding a title. And so you just basically click this one here, this add new label, and you click on the map, and then this new label shows up in the map. And you can just name it whatever you want. I'll just name it Polygon 1. And then I'll change the font to make it a little bit more readable as a printed size. Um, so then, yeah, so there's, there's your title. And then to pull in a, the legend, you click this button, the legend, the add new legend, and then you click on the map, and the legend gets pulled directly in. And I don't want to have this Google Hybrid um, layer on the on the legend, so I'll go in here and delete that. And um, then to add in a scale bar, just click this button, add new scale bar, and click on the map. And this map is uni using uh, units of meters, and so I want to show that on the uh, label as well. So there. And um, the final thing is to put in a uh, north arrow. So you use this camera button, add image. And from there, then you click on the map, and then it loads a bunch of different types of images on this right-hand side, and you can select the north area that you want. Let me select this one here. And so there you have like a, a map that's more, um, it's more finalized, it has a title, and a legend, and a scale bar, and a north arrow, 
and so that everything is a lot more uh, easily understandable um, when you go to save it as a uh, as a PDF or if you want to save it as an image file. And so now what we're going to do is export it to a PDF and so you use this button, this export as PDF uh, button and then you can just save it right to the desktop as a PDF. So I'm just going to name it Polygon1 again. And basically just press save and then it takes a little bit of a minute because it prints it to a PDF. And so, um, but then once it's done, you can go to the desktop and you can see right here I have the PDF document of my map. And we'll go back into Quantum GIS and the Print Composer. There's also an option here uh, to export the same map as an image. So you can export it as a JPEG or a bitmap or a TIFF, um, whatever one kind of you want. I'm going to do this just to demonstrate it again to the desktop and save. And then it's really fast. It saves it as a JPEG. And then that can be opened or transferred right into a uh, PowerPoint or um, put into um, any types of documents for for images. So, well, there you have it. That's um, basically how to pull in a uh, base layer and add a base layer to your map, and then also um, just you know, within Quantum GIS create a nice uh, a nice finished map that you can send. Uh, you can put into a document um, that helps people understand um, more about what you're trying to map. And so there you go.